This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about why you aren't successful getting rid of cockroaches with boric acid. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, first, I want to go over two different things. So, boric acid is not borax. Borax is not boric acid. I have people ask me all the time, they say, well, can't I kill roaches with borax? But no, you can't. Borax is soap. Okay, it's laundry soap. Now, there are, it's, it's derived from boron. Boron is a mineral, and you get boric acid, and you get uh, borax, sodium borate type pesticides, also from, you know, boron. And so they're all derived from the same thing. And sometimes there are, I mean, there are some ingredients out there, if you take, or recipes, I should say, where you take borax and mix it with powdered sugar and ants and stuff will eat it and roaches will eat it and stuff and it, it makes like a like a bait like but you could do the same thing with boric acid boric acid is actually more effective but borax is you, you keep that in your in your laundry machine that's what that's for boric acid though is actually a different formulation it's a dust that's used to kill bugs i mean you can kill ants with it you, you can kill roaches with it you can kill you can't kill bed bugs with it but you can kill other types of insects with boric acid. It's actually very effective. And the reason it's so effective on cockroaches is because they don't build a natural immunity to it. it, it they eat it, they ingest it, and it kills them through ingestion. And it, it's much more effective at getting rid of roaches than say a pesticide that they can develop an immunity to or a resistance to. So uh, boric acid, they're not gonna get resistant to that. They never have, they never will. Um, because it's more of a natural way to get rid of cockroaches because it tears up their digestive tract and it kills them that way um, so it's very effective but why aren't you able to kill them you know that's the whole point of the video if it kills roaches and it's that effective at killing roaches then why aren't you able to kill cockroaches with boric acid so we're gonna go over that today and I'm hopefully at the end of this video you'll understand better on how to properly use boric acid to get rid of your insect problems like ants and cockroaches. So the thing about boric acid that you need to understand is that bugs aren't going to naturally just want to crawl through it. They have to crawl through it and then when they groom themselves they lick it off their hands and their feet. There's sticky pads on the bottoms of their feet and their belly and stuff and they clean it off of themselves. Roaches are very meticulous. They like to preen, they like to clean themselves like a cat. They're constantly trying to clean themselves and so they will ingest the dust if they crawl through it. But they don't like to crawl through big piles of dust. Now when I go behind people that have cockroach problems and they've gone to Walmart or somewhere and they've bought some boric acid dust, because you can find boric acid anywhere. You can buy it at Walmart. You buy a Dollar General. It you know, lots of places have boric acid. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's very effective, you know, at killing roaches as long as you apply it properly. So roaches don't like to go through thick, big, thick piles of dust. And most of the time when I go to a house that's got a roach problem, they've got that stuff piled up like little hills of dust all around their baseboards and all inside their cabinets and it's just everywhere. I mean, it's piles and piles of it. And if you read the label of a boric acid dust, it'll tell you right on the label to apply sparingly into cracks and crevices using a bellows duster. They don't want you using a spoon and like dumping that stuff all over the floor. That's not effective. It's not a pesticide that when the bug crawls through it, it absorbs through their skin. It doesn't work like that. 
they have to actually eat it to die. So you have to trick them. You have to put it really thin. So the way that I explain the differences in dusts is a, it, an application of dust. If you were to walk in the snow, all right, you got a blizzard, okay? You got a six foot snow drift that's this, this deep. And then you've got maybe an inch or less where they've already scraped and shoveled. Are you going to want to walk through a six foot snow drift? Are you going to want to walk through a quarter inch, half inch, an inch of snow? An inch of snow is much easier to traverse. So, of course, with bugs, when you think about it, a cockroach is not going to want to go through a very thick pile of dust. It's harder for them to travel through it because you got to think, they got little teeny tiny legs. They don't want to be all the way up to their head in dust. They're not going to want to walk through that. But they'll go through a very light dusting. The reason it's called dust is because it's dust. If you go to, into your home and you dust off your ceiling fan blades or your television screen, a lot of times the dust is really fine. Like our, uh, You almost won't even see it on your television screen unless you wipe your finger across the screen and then you can see where the dust is. That's how you want to apply a boric acid dust. You don't want to apply it really thick. And if you apply it and, and not only that, but the places people are applying it is not effective. You know, just out in the floor, out in the open where the bugs aren't going to be. You might have seen a roach crawl there before, but they're not living out on your baseboards. They're not living on your countertops. They're not living in those spots. They're living in the wall, in the cracks and the crevices in your wall. They're also living around your appliances. And so if you get you a hand bellows duster, which they're not very expensive. I mean, I've got some on my Amazon page. If you go check my Amazon page, you can check them and look at the prices. Those are the ones that I buy for my business. That's why I have them listed there. But sometimes you could even get a kit that comes with a duster with it. And the reason it comes with a duster is because you need a dust to apply it. You need a duster to apply it properly. And so what you do is you fill your duster about half full. And that way, it's, you know, it's usually a canister about that big. And you mix it half full, and then you shake it up real good so you make a cloud of dust inside that duster. Turn it upside down so your spout is now on the top, so your duster is down here, and your spout's up at the top sticking out. And you just puff, a little mist will come out. You could look at it. You go outside, and you could watch it, and it'll just barely come out of the tip like a fog. That's how you want to dust and dust under your refrigerators, dust under your microwaves, dust under your uh, coffee pots. You know, these are places the roaches are gonna wanna be because they produce heat. And this is what it tells you on the label. If you read the label, and I'll show you the dust that I'm recommending, um, the boric acid dust I recommend. It tells you right on the label, you need to dust under these appliances because these are places that cockroaches like to live. They like to go there. It's warm. It's a place that they can lay their eggs and it's very effective to dust these areas. So if you dust those areas and you dust in the cracks and the crevices, I have been able to get rid of chemical resistant cockroaches in houses with boric acid alone. When the roaches are so, I mean, they're not dying from the chemical I'm using, the pesticides, they're resistant. Some are actually completely immune to the chemical. And because, you know, what happens when you go to Walmart, you buy a pesticide, a lot of the chemicals you buy over the counter are the same chemicals I use, except they're a weaker concentration. So what you end up doing is you end up breeding a chemically resistant cockroach because the pesticide is not strong enough to kill them but it does create a roach that is actually able to, to live through the chemical. And so if I come through and I apply full strength to kill cockroaches, they don't die because you've already created an immune cockroach. So the pesticides that I recommend on my Amazon page, if you buy those and you, lay, you read the label, mix it for cockroaches, and then get yourself boric acid dust, and dust now don't dust the same places that you spray this is another mistake a lot of people make is they'll use the boric acid dust where they've sprayed dust doesn't work if it gets wet because then it mats down and it doesn't stick to anything it stays on the surfaces where you treat with it so you need to make sure that the dust stays dry so treat areas that you don't spray with dust 
and then treat the rest of the house like you normally would and you'll get rid of your roaches. It's actually a very effective way to get rid of cockroaches. You will get rid of your roach infestation. I mean, a lot of times I have people say, uh, well, I mean, once you have roaches, you never get rid of them. That's not true. I get rid of roaches all the time. My customers, they don't have German cockroaches. They, they have them when they call me, but after I work on their house a little bit, roaches are dead. You don't have no roaches after I come in your house. So you can do this too. You can get rid of your cockroaches. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel and leave me comments below. If this is something that you like, if you like this video, if you like content like this, then uh, don't hesitate to leave me a question. If you'd like me to do a video on a problem that you're having in your home, maybe you've got a problem with some cockroaches, maybe you got a problem with some bed bugs or silverfish or something, leave me a suggestion below in the comments. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, I live stream every Thursday night. I go live on YouTube where I answer your questions. I actually have a Skype phone number that I've purchased so you can call in if you want. I do uh, phone-in consultations if you're curious. You can go, all this, all this information is in the description below. So click the description, check it out, and I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a really good day. I hope you enjoy in life wherever you are. And like I said, give me a thumbs up, follow the channel, and hit that notification bell so you see all videos like this. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you later. Thanks.